that should be the end result of the gospel is you with the Holy Ghost walking with him as God in the earth the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw to thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and you've been around for a while then consider becoming a partner with us and we're reaching people with this message all over the world we thank you for it John chapter 1 verse 29 the next day John sees Jesus coming unto him and saith behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world is this good news yes, it is. so here's John he's a prophet mm -hmm. you understand that right how many other people saw Jesus walking down the street <laughs> lots of people would have seen Jesus right but John the Baptist sees Jesus and says of Jesus behold the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world is that true yes, yes. did Jesus do that I mean he didn't do it right then but he was going to you understand yeah. prophet saying he's going to do this verse 30 this is he of whom I said of whom I said past tense he's reminding them that this is something he's been saying so this is part of the message that John the Baptist was preaching mm -hmm. that somebody's gonna come that's gonna take away the sins of the world pointed him out said that's the guy yep. therefore am I come baptizing with water so he came to talk about it mm -hmm. so that when Jesus came they'd be ready to receive him as the one who would take away the sins of the world are you here yes. verse 33 and I knew him not but he that sent me to baptize with water the same said unto me upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him the same as he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost do you suppose John the Baptist mentioned this before yes. of course he did this was part of John the Baptist's message that someone was going to come and take away the sins of the world and say and and, and baptize people into the Holy Ghost right. are you here yes. who was saying this John the Baptist by by the Holy Ghost obviously right. so oh yeah oh yeah you got your sins he removed your sins so that when you die you go to heaven mm -hmm. that's predominantly the gospel we've all been preached mm -hmm. so what if I told you the end result of receiving what Jesus did is not heaven as an eternal home even though that is part of it if people were to die having received what Jesus did they would obviously die and go to heaven I'm not saying that what I'm saying is that's not the point the point is to receive the Holy Ghost what if I told you that was the destination that your salvation was supposed to bring you to knowing the Holy Ghost receiving him as God and walking with him say and walking with him walking in the earth well if I told you that a lot of people would say well that sounds like a different gospel that sounds different it only sounds different it's not that it's unscriptural it's that the gospel you've been preached has only been partial gospel or wouldn't go here but Jesus went here John the Baptist laid the foundation to go here mm -hmm. then Jesus came did what he had to do and sent the Holy Ghost so that you could walk with him in the earth that should be the end result of the gospel is you with the Holy Ghost walking with him as God in the earth well that sounds like a different gospel it's not a different gospel than what's in the scriptures it's a, di a different gospel than what you've heard coming from the pulpit seems like a different gospel but it's not according to scripture but it is a different gospel to what most people are preaching mm -hmm. shame on them yes. 
so the end result should be today you especially in this day the day of the Holy Ghost you should be walking and knowing the Holy Ghost as God in fellowship with him and walking with him in the earth mm -hmm. that's what Jesus came to bring you into second mm -hmm. Corinthians 11 verse 4 for if he that comes preaches another Jesus whom you've not preached or if you receive another spirit which you have not received or another gospel say gospel. gospel see those are those two words right there another gospel is it possible people could be preaching another gospel yes. mm -hmm. people would accuse me of preaching another gospel mm -hmm. right you might even have heard somebody say he preaches another gospel mm -hmm which you have not accepted you might well bear with him now this is Paul you understand that right second Corinthians written by Paul to the Corinthians go to Acts chapter 19 and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples he said unto them have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe and they said unto him we have not so much even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so Paul here is coming up to some disciples and preaching to them something they haven't heard yes. about the Spirit of God mm -hmm. was this a different gospel mm -hmm. it wasn't a different gospel according to the scriptures it was a diff different gospel from what they have heard are you here yes. is it possible that people have heard a different gospel and believed a different gospel mm -hmm. than the one we're preaching even though this one isn't unscriptural mm -hmm. it's just they never heard it mm -hmm. so they would say oh that's a different gospel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is a different gospel than the one you've been believing mm -hmm. all right so different than what they had received we can see that and then he goes on and gets them you know baptized in the Holy Ghost they began to speak with other tongues it's the same gospel but the result is different yes. where you're gonna end up your destination yeah. if I preach prosperity what's your destination what? prosperity if I preach healing what's your destination health. healing and health are you here yeah. If I preach that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words what's your destination that mm -hmm. is it a different gospel not according to scriptures is it a different gospel according to what people have been preaching and believing yes. definitely different yes. and most of the people in the body of Christ know what it looks like to have a gospel without the Holy Ghost now hold on with me here if they believe the first part of what John the Baptist said here comes Jesus he's the one that takes away the sins of the world I don't really know any churches or not familiar with them that would preach that Jesus isn't the one that took away the sins of the world but if they stop there and he's not the one that baptizes in the Holy then they didn't get the fullness of what Jesus was trying to bring into the earth all the way back from John the Baptist Do you understand so we know and most of us can name some things we know what it looks like to have a gospel that doesn't have the Holy Ghost in it it doesn't mean he's not doing all that he can and getting people born again and all these operations that he can do through the word I'm just trying to get this point across we know what it looks like I've been involved in it I've seen it up close and personal what it looks like to have a gospel without the Holy Ghost as a person being God in the earth today that's my point we know we know what it looks like to have a gospel that has the Holy Ghost added mm -hmm. right yeah. so we'll take that old we'll take that old gospel and we'll just add some Holy Ghost manifestations to it and that's where 99% of people are right now mm -hmm. they just add some Holy Ghost one degree or another do you believe in the gifts of healings with the laying on of hands why yes we'll add that mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying mm -hmm. or do you believe in speaking in tongues yes we'll add that but all of it comes down to adding some Holy Ghost mm -hmm. to the gospel mm -hmm. they don't go far enough to where 
the real gospel is trying to take them having them in the holy ghost knowing him as a person and walking with him in the earth today Amen. that's a different gospel are you here yes so we know what it looks like to have a gospel without the holy ghost we know what it looks like to have a gospel with some holy ghost added some more or less mm -hmm. have we been there i think we've all been there most of us are there now mm -hmm. some more or less holy ghost but we don't know what it looks like to have a gospel with him the holy ghost as god in the earth until now mm -hmm. he's the object of the gospel he's the destination of the gospel we could see that all the way from John the Baptist I'm gonna take you to some of the things of Jesus here in a second but that's where we're supposed to be is in our day we're supposed to be walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today that was the point the gospel is to lead you to a relationship with him the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him in the earth that sounds like a different gospel it is a different gospel to what you've been hearing and have had preached we believe that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him say with him, with him. by saying words we've this is the destination of our gospel brought us here mm -hmm. into a relationship with the living God named the Holy Ghost that we walk with in the earth every day every day every day mm -hmm. is this good news yes now I've spent time in these in each of these camps the one where the Holy Ghost wasn't much of a thing mm -hmm. you know they knew he was there but they wouldn't go there at all then I've, I've been in the other camps where we had just a little bit in fact my first sermon that I preached was in a fundamentalist Baptist church But it wasn't too long when I started when I then then I started reading scriptures and I heard about the Holy Ghost and speaking with other tongues then I received that I received that gift and received him and began speaking with other tongues and then eventually I had to leave that camp mm -hmm. yeah. because my gospel was what they what did they say about me I'm believing a different gospel mm -hmm. right and then I spent most of my time in that group in what we'd call full gospel right. circles or a word of faith eventually but it was full gospel. So why full gospel you say because we believe that Jesus healed people mm -hmm. right, right. we not only saved them so they die and go to heaven and they lived a miserable life till they got there <laughs> and if the tribulation came it was cave time I heard all these these sermons you understand mm -hmm. in fact they'd be selling stuff so we got to go and store it up to go to the cave make sure you get the toilet paper we're not cave dwellers or Holy Ghost people well anyway so then I spent a lot of time in that and that and I started preaching I went to school and I would have called myself a full gospel person and a word of faith person because I believed in the baptism of the Holy Ghost I believed in all the gifts of the Spirit right yes. I believed in healing for everyone healing in the atonement yes. that's full gospel but you know what we didn't believe I mean we'd say we believed it but we didn't acknowledge it the Holy Ghost was God and he's the one in the earth and that we should worship him mm -hmm. there's scriptures that say that you know God is a spirit mm -hmm. and they that worship him we didn't go there we wouldn't go far enough to go there so I spent time you know I know what I'm talking about even in the full gospel circles he the Holy Ghost was not the destination the destination should have been Holy Ghost receiving him knowing him as God worshiping him as God and walking with him in the earth that's the destination of the real gospel mm -hmm. but even our full gospel didn't go there he was just added on I'm not trying to you know irritate people we'd say things and we'd sing songs that went something like thank you Lord for the Holy Ghost and we thought we were Holy Ghost people and we'd say we'd say it all the time thank God for the Holy Ghost thank God for the Holy Ghost what what's the implication of these words that I'm saying thank God for the Holy Ghost thank God for the Holy Ghost thank you Jesus for the Holy Ghost what's happening here my language is misleading 
meaning it's misleading it's leading me wrongly it's leading me into the wrong direction thinking that the Holy Ghost is something other than God That's right. are you here yes. that was deeply embedded into everything we did but the gospel with the Holy Ghost as a destination I'm telling you the Spirit of God the Holy Ghost really likes this when I'm saying it the gospel with the Holy Ghost as the destination is different than the gospel you've been preaching our gospel is different it's not different than the scriptures but it's definitely different than what you've been taught or what you've heard mm -hmm. unless the Holy Ghost was your destination Adam fell what was the why did we say Jesus came to remove the sins of man mm -hmm. so that Adam could be back in fellowship with God the Spirit mm -hmm. so that's not full gospel that's full circle mm -hmm. we're going full circle we're the full circle gospel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because now we're back in fellowship if we receive what Jesus did or believe on mm -hmm. what he did mm -hmm. is this making sense yes. then we're back in fellowship with the Spirit of God or the Spirit God our gospel is full circle we still believe that he heals we still believe all of those things that the Holy Ghost does mm -hmm. but we're taking it farther because we acknowledge him as God right. and worship him as God mm -hmm. even the ones who re receive the Holy Ghost in a measure they're still not getting to the punchline the fact that the Holy Ghost is God and you walk with him That's right. in the earth yes. mm -hmm. why is that so hard to believe well one of the reasons it's so hard to believe it's because it's been preached preached wrongly mm -hmm. for years so they left the end part out the punchline that'd be terrible imagine a book full of jokes with no punchlines mm -hmm. you're like this isn't funny at all mm -hmm. well it's not funny <laughs> if the Holy Ghost is your destination say that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is my, is my destination. destination it's the destination of the gospel it's the destination the gospel calls you to mm -hmm. if the Holy Ghost is your destination and you receive him and acknowledge him as God what should you do with God worship. you should worship God and you can you can sense all of the old traditional gospel garbage probably shouldn't try to put those words together but you understand what I'm saying now you can feel that stuff just start to get irritated yep. because we had a different destination in mind with the other gospel yes. mm -hmm. so we make Holy Ghost worshipers out of people that should be a fulfillment of, of the destination of where you were supposed to go mm -hmm. John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him who said that by the way Jesus said it so you're saying I shouldn't be saying what Jesus said in the gospel I'm preaching no God is a spirit and we're brought back into fellowship with him and he is God in the earth today are you getting this yes. this is your destination how can you get to your destination if you don't know where you're going right. mm -hmm. most gospels that are preached don't even show you that that's where the destination is knowing God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. use of the words I worship you Holy Ghost puts you squarely in this camp Holy Ghost worship it may get you kicked out of the first camp remember the one that had a gospel without the Holy Ghost then we had the one that had some Holy Ghost mm -hmm. probably get you kicked out of that camp too Holy Ghost worshiper using the words I worship you Holy Ghost say I worship you, I worship you. Holy, Ghost Holy Ghost puts you squarely in this camp what camp say you this camp that believes the Holy Ghost is God in the earth and we walk with him if he is God we worship him Jesus said God is a spirit they that worship him must worship him I must worship him it begins to when you do it do what worship the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost it begins to delete old code old programming 
that was written in there by these gospels that didn't include him and then he starts to put all the code back together and, and I can't tell you how many times I hear from people this makes so much sense why wasn't I taught this mm -hmm. because their gospel had the wrong destination mm -hmm. years ago I started getting this message that was gonna irritate people and I chose the message rather than the people you understand I mean there will be if God brought that to somebody with a large church and he started saying it 90% of the people will go no that's not the gospel I want to believe and they would go somewhere else mm -hmm. so I traded that years ago say years ago, years ago I traded that or this message for the prospect of a bunch of people mm -hmm. I said I will say what you tell me to say and I'll say it the way you tell me to say it and by me following that directive it has brought me to this place to a gospel which looks somewhat different than other other people's gospel yes. and many people many people would say no I don't want anything to do with that but I've come to believe it might take some some getting a hold of that but there's more people in this message and in this gospel than they're in all the other ones combined so I speak from this place this room of Holy Ghost worship and I call you in if you can hear it you can go there come on in the water's fine and it's better than the other waters yes. knowing God the Holy Ghost in a way that I'd never known him before mm -hmm. even though I knew all of, I knew I knew I preached I preached in all of those other things you understand I knew the scriptures and how to present those things yes. but I traded that to follow the Holy Ghost and he gave me this message mm -hmm. <laughs> when I say knowing God who are we talking about the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. is he God yes. is he in the earth yes. so knowing him knowing God in a way you've never known him before and can't know him in those other circles That's right. knowing God the Holy Ghost in a way you've never known him before is that possible yes. mm -hmm. I was thinking about this how arrogant and you can all concur in this because I've been around a while how is it that people can get saved and immediately think they know everything <laughs> and immediately get arrogant over it or is it possible that you could know God the Holy Ghost creator of heaven and earth that moved into the earth to be with you and why you think you could know him better yeah I think so you can't know him in this way without worshiping him as God is it possible to know God in a way that you don't know yeah well when you begin to worship him he begins to reveal himself to you in a way that you don't know or haven't known up till that point people testify to me all the time that this is the case I'm telling you it's the case mm -hmm. you enter into a completely different space it's almost like it's a new gospel mm -hmm. that's how different it is yes. I know this because I'm in it and I preach from it and I've been following this trail with the Holy Ghost for years and God is pleased by it in light of that I believe God has called certain people to be with me in this message be with me in this ministry some called to help financially let's look at this Luke chapter 8 verse 3 and Joanna the wife of Chusa Herod's steward and Susanna mm -hmm. and many others say many others so he named a couple and then he said many others which ministered unto him of their substance they were called to be with him in that ministry mm -hmm. are you here yes. and with that message you think God blessed them yes. oh yeah they're even written in the Bible so I believe God has called certain people to be with me just as much as he's called me he's called you to be with me in this message in this ministry some called to help financially I just showed you scripture for it right 
but we've got a long way to go yes. and if you can hear that those people that are with me I'm, I'm just telling you what the Holy Ghost says to me okay I have to keep following this trail I've said it to you guys before but I don't want to go home and have him tell me you didn't say what I told you to say and you didn't say it the way I told you to say it we have a long way to go and we're just getting started we're right at the beginning this message is just starting it's going to expand it's literally gonna cover the earth we're just getting started if you can hear that and when I worship the Holy Ghost he blesses you I've seen it happen time and time again I'll sit there in my chair I have a chair where I go and I worship God and I read those scriptures but I'll sit there and I'll worship the Holy Ghost I'll worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I worship you and as I'm doing that I know that he gets up and does things for people that are associated with me I'm just saying this to bless you hopefully it blesses you if you didn't hear that then don't worry about it I'm not talking to you if you heard it you can have it say if I heard it I, heard it, I can have it that's just the way it is with so many things of the gospel especially when you start speaking things that the Holy Ghost is telling you to say if you can hear it you can have it the end result of Jesus is not heaven as an eternal home it is the Holy Ghost as God in the earth and you walking with him yes. that's the end result of the gospel that's the destination of the gospel is for you to be able to receive the Holy Ghost as God and walk with him in the earth mm -hmm. full circle from where they were in the beginning with Adam sometimes I have to say things I, you know I think about the you know the scriptures where Paul said I'm telling you this but this is by the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. and then I'm telling you this but this is by the Spirit many times that's kind of where, where my messages come from I have a message of things scriptures I need to get across points I need to come across and then in there the Holy Ghost says tell them this mm -hmm. Luke chapter 3 let's look at 16 you've heard of John 3 16 right mm -hmm. that's how let's try Luke 3 16 John answered saying unto them all I indeed baptize you with water but one mightier than I come the latchet of whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire Amen. John the Baptist before Jesus even showed up on the scene in his ministry mm -hmm. was saying this guy Jesus remember earlier he said what behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world mm -hmm. now he's saying this guy Jesus is gonna come mm -hmm. not only take away the sins of the world he's gonna baptize you into the Holy Ghost and we know baptize I mean it's full immersion that's what it means not sprinkle on some Holy Ghost here's some Holy Ghost here no you're gonna be fully immersed into mm -hmm. who did John the Baptist say Jesus was gonna come who is he gonna baptize them into the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost is a person Holy Ghost is God we see what John the Baptist ministry was to was to get people to Jesus what's Jesus's ministry to get people to the Holy Ghost get their sins removed and then get them to the Holy Ghost and get the Holy Ghost to them mm -hmm. yes. what's the end result them with the Holy Ghost destination Holy Ghost gospel John answered said unto them all I indeed baptize you with the water but mightier one mightier than I comes hasn't come yet right he's saying it here he's gonna come prophesying latch it of whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire so question was John the Baptist a prophet did what he say come to pass yes. Luke 7 26 but what went you out for to see a prophet let's do the next word yay they went out to see a prophet was John the Baptist a prophet later on he says that he was one of the greatest mm -hmm. well if he was a great prophet then this would have had to happen Jesus would have had to come mm -hmm. save people from their sins and then introduce them say introduce them, introduce them into the Holy Ghost 
and if we know the Holy Ghost as God you're being introduced to God who's in the earth Luke 3 16 John answered saying unto them all I indeed baptize you with the Holy with water but one mightier than I comes the latchet of whose shoes I'm not worthy to unloose he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire before we heard that he was gonna come and save people from their sins mm -hmm. right here's the second part of his ministry was to baptize you in the Holy Ghost did that happen while Jesus was on the earth no. no so all of Jesus ministry up until this point before he went up into heaven we'll take you there in a minute mm -hmm. he only fulfilled the first part of his ministry mm -hmm. the second part which he talked about mm -hmm. John the Baptist said another's coming Jesus said guess what another's coming mm -hmm. right so Jesus's first part of the ministry was the only part that was fulfilled while he was on the earth you just told me you did mm -hmm. well and the scriptures but you told me too mm -hmm. that John the Baptist is a good prophet yes. right yes. one of the best only the best and he said this one's gonna baptize you in the Holy Ghost introduce you fully immerse you into the Holy Ghost didn't happen but it did happen later you understand so I'm trying to prove my point here that most people's gospel doesn't go far enough mm -hmm. is it possible that people would run off with a gospel that didn't have the Holy Ghost as the destination mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1 verse 1 the former treaties have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach verse 2 until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments say commandments Amen commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them say commanded commanded, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which you have which saith he you have heard of me for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence same message that J he was quoting John the Baptist mm -hmm. what was he correcting them over and commanding them do not go with a half-baked gospel mm -hmm. your destination is wrong mm -hmm. you'll miss the punchline and it won't be funny mm -hmm. verse 8 you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come on you when do you get power after he comes on them what did they do after the Holy Ghost came on him uh, came on them they began to speak so the power comes after you begin to speak as he gives you utterance mm -hmm. you understand but it's still a he mm -hmm. he's the one that we receive destination Holy Ghost mm -hmm. The gospel's destination is the Holy Ghost. Yes. A personal relationship with the Holy Ghost. But as we can see, Jesus is the end of the faith of many people. Mm -hmm. But Jesus should not be the end of your faith. It should be, his ascension should be the beginning of your faith because of the Holy Ghost coming into the earth. A faith based on the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today that's the destination of the gospel mm -hmm. and you walking with him and worshiping him mm -hmm. we've been talking about the gospel here right mm -hmm. and some people have a different gospel and they would say I have a different gospel so what would it look like to have a gospel with the Holy Ghost or a gospel with the destination of the Holy Ghost in the earth the destination of the gospel is to have the Holy Ghost as God in the earth can you see this yes. and we can know him as God and walk with him as God yes. worshiping him as God sanctifies you and separates you and causes you to be a Holy Ghost worshiper first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost now could this happen if Jesus didn't 
take away the sins of the world and Jesus didn't send the Holy Ghost into the earth because you're in the earth could this even be yeah. it could not be this is the destination of the gospel mm -hmm. what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God and you're not your own you're bought with a price therefore glorify God in your body who is the God that's in your body the Holy Ghost we glorify him we magnify him we worship him this is the de real destination of the gospel yes. welcome Amen. know ye not know ye you got those who know ye not mm -hmm. now we've got some that know ye say know ye, know ye. I know ye Woo! the worshiper of me says the Spirit of God knows me now, I've said that many times that if you if you know him as God you will worship him as God but if you worship him as God you'll begin to know him in a way that you've never known him before it's the destination of the gospel Holy Ghost I pray for these people I thank you that you're blessing them right now and sealing them and sanctifying them in the destination of the gospel which is you in a relationship with you and knowing you and as they begin to worship me says the Spirit of God I will begin to correct wrong thinking and wrong doctrine and they will rise up to a new place and a new level and a new day of being great creatures in the earth that I have destined and planned for from the beginning of time we thank you Holy Ghost that that is this day we worship you in Jesus name amen God in the earth